Hey everyone, it's Pixelate here and welcome back to the channel. This is not how I was expecting to start my day. We knew that there were potential leaks for The Sims 5 or Project Renee that were going to be coming eventually, obviously, since it looks like things were hacked and pirated, unfortunately. But now we have actual official leaked screenshots from the playtest for The Sims 5. And these come from a Reddit user, Meow day the 13th. I think we have 13 different pictures, no 11 different pictures, excuse me, but still nonetheless new leaked views of The Sims 5. We know that The Sims 5 is still years away from release. Lindsay Pearson has made this known during the official Sims Summit live stream, but them opening up playtesting super super early uh, was definitely not the best idea and honestly Honestly, because of it getting hacked and pirated and now things being leaked, I honestly don't think that they're going to really open it up too much from this point forward with players or even play testers. I feel like that has kind of ruined things now, unfortunately. And that's something that we definitely need because in order for The Sims 5 to be the best that it can be, I feel like us, the community, we really need to help develop this game in a way by giving feedback and sharing concerns with features that they have announced to us. But this first screenshot showing the kitchen looks very similar to one of the images that we saw on the Sims Summit live stream. Another look here at a living room and a dining room. Again, looking very similar to what we saw during the Sims Summit live stream. Oh my gosh, the art style is greatly resembling the Sims 4. It honestly looks like a healthy mix of the Sims 4 and the Sims 3. Like it has that cartoonish look that The Sims 4 had, but it also kind of has a little bit of The Sims 3's art style. Keep in mind though, guys, that this is still an early preview. The final product, the final game is not going to look like this. This is adorable though, seeing some of the clutter items that are likely going to be a part of the base game, little cans of soda on the coffee table, books and magazines, what looks to even be a pile of laundry on the floor in the bedroom at the top. This looks really cute, guys. So far, I think it looks so good and of course things will definitely improve as time goes on they're still early in development so it's going to look nothing like this when it releases honestly the fact that it looks like this this early on is honestly a really really good sign so let's keep moving forward now so here are some objects that you can decorate your house with we've seen some of these objects before yeah these are definitely real screenshots guys you can see the activate windows icon in the bottom <laughs> Oh boy. Interesting, interesting guys. All the different categories. Oh my gosh. I need this game now. I can't believe that we have to wait years for this. Oh boy. Here are some more objects showing most recent and trending. Ooh, trending. So I'm guessing that maybe you do have to be online for this game or maybe not. I don't know, but it's really cool that when you do hit this icon, you can at least see most recent. So if you click something and you forgot what you clicked, it should come up in the most recent objects. That's actually really cool. That's something really handy that I never thought that we would really need, but honestly, we kind of do, especially for those of you builders out there that are always picking up and putting down tons of objects at a time. So is this a shell or is this like a buildable area? Is this after putting the roof up? It's definitely giving Sims 4 and Sims 3 hybrid. That's the first thing that I'm thinking about. Absolutely. God, I really hope that we end up getting open worlds with this. That would be so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the world and there's cars parked on the side of the street. Please tell me we are going to be able to drive these cars. I don't want to get my hopes up though and say that we will and then we might not end up driving cars. I don't know, but gosh, it would be so nice if these were actually included in the base game. Your Sims could get in and you'd see them drive down the street and drive different places. That would be so cute. Art style still looking really good. I do like the graphics. You can tell that someone took a picture of their screen obviously you can see the little waves on the screen so these aren't direct screenshots from in game so I'm sure they look better when they're actually in game but also guys remember this is early 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 development so it's not going to be 100% polished all right so they have a series of pop-up windows here welcome interior designers customize your apartment with walls and furniture find player created furniture through discovering button and Max's created furniture 
feature through the buy button. Interesting. Cool. So players can like create their own things, customize them and upload them. And then you can just go and download them, which is really, really cool. Every piece of furniture can be customized. Use the workshop to change size, color, parts, materials, and patterns. Then place accents to make the piece more special. That is so freaking cool. Share your creations to inspire other players. Select all the furniture you want to share using the multi select tool on the left of the screen. Then use the upload button at the bottom of the screen. Oh, this is stuff that we have needed. We got a little preview of this during the Sim Summit live stream, but this is the kind of stuff that we need. The customization features. You guys, Sims 5 is going to be pretty damn cool. And it is 100% going to be competing with Paralives. They are going to be direct competition. So we're going to have to see what Paralives brings to the table. The Sims definitely does not want to lose its players to another game. So you already know that they are going to do everything necessary to keep their player base. And lastly, we have help button. If you are ever unsure what a button does, use the question mark button to view helpful tips. That's really cool, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there are already Reddit users making good points. I'm not going to be too concerned with what I don't like here because the game is literally years away. Exactly. You guys, like I said, take a lot of this with a grain of salt with the way things look and are designed. It's still early. I'm sure a lot of these core features are going to be in the final product, but the way that they work, the way that they operate, and the way that they look are probably going to change drastically between now and when it's ever going to fully come out, which is still years away, you know? Oh, this is a good point too. Not to mention that even if you loved everything you sent, there's always a possibility for stuff to fall through or be scaled back. They might even take things out before the final product. So don't fall in love with everything that you see here because you never know. Yeah, with a lot of the open world customization that it looks like we are getting with this, it definitely is giving Sims 3 vibes. That's definitely one of my first thoughts here is it feels a lot like Sims 3 and that's what I wanted. I want a more stable, updated, upgraded, looking like Sims 4 version of the Sims 3 basically. But let me know what you guys think about all this below. Share your thoughts. I love you so much. I'm so excited. I can't believe we're years away. I need this now. Take care and happy simming.